What's going on guys, TGKS Productions. Rockstar has brought back the Armored Truck event, which they removed eight years ago from GTA Online before the free mode events update in 2015. They are slightly different from when they were originally in the game, and we're going to talk about everything regarding this event and how you can find these trucks. If you enjoy this video, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Let's get right into it. There are 10 different locations where these armored trucks can spawn, and they spawn in any session, so you don't have to be in a public one. And I'll also leave a link in the description to the interactive map that I'm using, so if you want to see all these 10 locations for yourself, you can check them out anytime you want. This event works like a handful of others in online, where when you come close to it or it spawns for you, it's marked as a blue blip, and this one is labeled security van. When this fence spawns for you, you'll notice your mini-map will flash and the blue blip will appear. And in order to rob this truck, you have to use sticky bombs. It's going to give you a prompt to use sticky bombs to blow open the rear doors to access the cache inside. Pretty straightforward. Should be pretty easy if you're in a vehicle to just throw a sticky bomb on the back, which will blow open the back doors. And you'll notice what went up happening is a case will spawn out of the back of the truck as opposed to back when these were originally in the game it was cash bags which would vary in amount and also i believe there was only one npc in the truck before as of now you have two npcs in the truck and they will actively attack you if you blow open the rear doors or you attack the truck with explosives here we have the case which is a group sec case Definitely pretty cool as I guess opposed to the bags and if you rob it you're going to earn $25,000 as well as 1,000 RP. Here I earned $50,000 and 1,000 RP. It's double right now to celebrate the debut of it being added into the game. So that's super cool. And by robbing these trucks you are going to receive a 2 star wanted level. Which of course you should be able to just call Lester or bribe the authorities if you want to get rid of your wanted level no very quickly. And that's pretty much all there is to this event. Some other interesting things about this event, it doesn't look like you can shoot the doors open like you were able to do when these trucks were originally in the game. I tried really hard to do this, they would not open, so yeah, this is pretty much impossible. Also, looks like this truck takes 5 RPGs, or this at least blows up on the 5th one. So you definitely want to make sure you're throwing the sticky bombs at the door and if you happen to be in an air vehicle when this truck spawns in obviously be careful how many missiles you shoot at this truck considering it will eventually blow up it's interesting how even if the missile hits directly at the back of the truck the doors don't seem to open so i'm not sure if you only can use a sticky bomb but what is nice about if you use missiles or really i guess if you attack the truck with explosives the guards seem to get out of the vehicle similar to like the finders keepers event when you attack the vehicle so it does make it somewhat easy to steal it or quickly take them out and obviously blow up the doors but once again be careful how many explosives you're shooting or hitting the truck with because again it will eventually blow up and it looks like if the truck spawns in for another player and you're not near them when it does the blip will not show up for you. I actually tested this with my friend. He actually ended up losing the truck when it spawned. And ironically, I found it later parked in front of the Union Depository building. So I'm not sure if it always pulls up here. But it is definitely funny that it pulled up at the Union Depository building. Once my friend did show up, the blip appeared for me and the prompt to blow open the rear doors with a sticky bomb. And once my friend did blow open the back doors, I was able to steal the case. This is definitely different from when the truck was originally in the game because I believe when these spawned in, all players in the game would be alerted to the armored truck. So this is nice because if this spawns for you and you happen to be in a public session, it's not going to be shown to all players in the session. It may just be shown to players that happen to be close to you. I do remember when these originally in the game, it was like a feeding frenzy when one of these would spawn in a public lobby and if there were a lot of players. So in the long run, hopefully this would make it a lot easier for you to be able to steal the cash from the truck. I also stole the armored truck and I drove it around for a bit. I was actually trying to get a thumbnail for this video. After some time, I ended up letting my friend blow up the back of the truck and a security case 
did not spawn. I'm not sure why, so if you decide to steal the truck and drive it around, I would just say, I guess, blow up the back doors quickly, or otherwise it may end up not having any money in it after some time. And it does seem that most of these security vans have the OG white and green look to them. However, the one that I robbed from LSIA looked to be the one similar to the color of the one that leaves the Diamond Casino and Resort. But this is just some other cool things that I found playing around with this event. It really would have been cool if they brought back the award full metal jacket, which you progress by robbing armored trucks. And if you rob 25 armored trucks, you would earn the blackjack tattoo. I think this would have been the perfect opportunity to bring that award back, but maybe there'll be a chance for it in the future. In any case, that's everything for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Found it extremely beneficial. Please hit the like, subscribe, share it. As always, have a great day.